uh, now onwards what we are going to do is that uh, uh, every day almost every day we will take up one question from this means and uh, how you would have done and how you could have improved hmm? like you have already covered about the race and distribution of various uh, genetic markers i told you you have to take up abo rh hemoglobin s g6pd and uh, gm and they have asked about abo and rh this time you know about but how to improvise that we will discuss fine question kya tha kisi ke paas hai genetic and inheritance जेनेटिक और इनहेरिटेंस में क्या डिफरेंस है इतनी बड़ी बेवकूफी क्यों कर रहा है पेपर सेटर डू यू फाइन डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू कैन यू फाइंड एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन जेनेटिक एंड इनहेरिटेंस सब के सब मैंने लैमार्क में बताया था एपीजेनेटिक ट्रेड्स आर ऑल्सो इनहेरिटेड है ना सब ह्यूमन प्राइमेट सो इवन द जेनेटिक्स एंड इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ एबीओ वी हैड डिस्कस इवन इन द टर्मिनोलॉजी इट सेल्फ आई टोल्ड यू देर आर थ्री एलिज A, B, and O. Actually, you should write. There are three major alleles. Hmm. One way to write is uh, like this: A and B and. But we simplify it, calling it A, B, O, A and B and O. So there are three major alleles. Hmm. Okay. And you know that A and B are. dominant o is recessive hmm? and you know that they are autosomal and you know their how many genotypes and phenotypes can be there that you know already ha huh? you have uh, genetically 6 and statistically 9 so this is your genotypes and these are your phenotypes i told you a can be homozygous also heterozygous also b can be homozygous also heterozygous also o will always be homozygous a b always heterozygous but then if you have forgotten i told you h also a b h h is most commonly found associated with and least with here it is found maximum with h and this is minimum with o if you write is good but if you don't it's not a part of the question but it en enlightens your examiner about your knowledge hmm? and then you also know the secretors and non secretors our body secretions they secrete hmm so you have this is secretor this is secretor this is non secretor our body secretions uh, gel nose gel is there uh, ear wax is there semen is there they contain all these antigens also so where these are secreted you call them secretor and where they are not you call them non secretors fine secretor l capital s non secretor small s ha huh? they write it like this actually secretor non secretor alleles so obviously homozygous and heterozygous secretor and non secretor recessive homozygous
fine and if this is absent in blood group also in secretor status also that leads to bombay blood group hmm? again that will add to the knowledge of examiner though this is not the part of your answer and one more thing is there in blood group a you have several sub alleles you have alleles a1 a2 a3 a4 up to a6 is there but only a1 is found in more than 99% others are rare alleles again he has not asked you fine and then you have uh, uh, details the maximum who discovered ab blood groups kis mein khoje plant strainer ye to gs ka question hai yaar mostly people give 1900 others give 1901 beginning of this century uh, last century theek hai similarly in rh uh, in uh, race two categories are given one is cd classification lens inner winner one is there other is R0, R1, R2. This uh, in this uh, topic of race, uh, where genetic markers are there. Hmm? In uh, RH, box is given. Fisher's race notation and Wiener's notation. Fisher race is CD, and uh, Wiener's notation is it is there on uh, page twenty-five. Uh, Uh, generally, Fisher's notation we don't take into account. We take into account uh, Wiener's, and Wiener's what is that? It is CD. Hmm? Three genes are there. Five alleles are there. Hmm? You have this one, dominant and recessive. You have this one, dominant and recessive. And RH is tested on the basis of D. If antigen D is present, you are Rh positive. If it is absent, you are Rh negative. And you have seen it in the case of that erythroblastosis vitalis. The details are are well known to you. So these are again major alleles. Overall, there are forty-five. No need to mention them. Now again, dominant recessive applies there also, here also. So accordingly, you can have genotypes and phenotypes. Fine. Another thing is, uh, though he has not asked, you should know the distribution which you do in the topic of race. Hmm? Uh, here it is only ABO and RS. I gave you others also. I told you that number of them are there. Cal is there, P is there, Duff is there, Selena is there, XLA, XG is there, hmm? HL is. So many antigens are there. Their inheritance uh, table I will put along this video. Huh? You should have a bit of wider knowledge when you talk about. Otherwise, whatever knowledge you have, it is it is okay. But to perform better than others, you should have slightly more knowledge than others. Fine. Uh, tomorrow with the other batch, uh, we'll be talking about uh, lethal and sublethal genes. Aata hai ki nahi aata? कहा कहा इस्तेमाल होता है लीथल एंड सब लीथल आंसर में क्या क्या डालोगे तो पूरी माइक्रोवल्यूशन यार म्यूटेशन में लीथल सब लीथल आते हैं नेचुरल सिलेक्शन कॉम्पोजिशन फर्टिलिटी फ्रीवेंटली लीथल सब लीथल है इनब्रीडिंग हाइब्रिडाइजेशन में है इधर इस प्रेजेंट आप समझ सकते हैं लीथल सब लीथल पूरी की पूरी जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट छोड़ के जेनेटिक ड्रिफ्ट लीड्स में इनब्रीडिंग इनब्रीडिंग का उसमें आ ही रहा है चीजों को इंटरग्रेट करना सीखो ठीक है कि नहीं चलो एग्जांपल दो लीथल जब लीथल के कोई 